hi, I just wanted to come on and talk about protection orders. There's a lot in the media at the moment regarding domestic abuse and there's been a significant rise in um, domestic abuse matters in Ireland during lockdown and even indeed since the weeks that lockdown has ended. If someone is in fear in their own home or there's been violence or threatened violence, if someone is receiving a barrage of text messages, um, basically someone is harassing them to the point that they're in fear, they need to go to their local court service and apply for a protection order. You don't need a solicitor to do this. You need to go to the courts and speak to the registry staff. They will arrange for you to speak with the judge. You will sit down with the judge and explain to them what has been happening that has caused you to come to the court and seek their protection. So a protection order will essentially bind the other person to the peace. It will prevent them from threatening you, using violence against you, stalking you, um, until such time as the matter comes back before the court. So a protection order is only a temporary order until such time as a safety order application or a barring order application are heard by the court. If a protection order is breached, it's a criminal matter. So if you have a protection order against someone and they threaten you, they use violence against you, they are stalking you, and you contact the Gardaí, the Gardaí are compelled to arrest that person. They would then have to seek bail and go through the normal criminal procedures. It's no longer a civil matter. So a protection order really does grant people some uh, peace of mind as such until a later hearing date. Now a protection order only stays in force until the date of a hearing for a safety or barring order application. So it's important that um, you apply for a safety or barring order application depending on your circumstances. If someone isn't in the home, then a safety order application would be uh, appropriate. If someone is within the house, then a barring order can compel that person to leave. Okay, so I hope that helps some people. I'll come back on another day to cover safety orders and barring orders. Thanks.